That's right, guys. Can you believe it? Because I can't. I can't believe I put up with a big buffet for that long. But we have. We've carried on. And we're here again today to bring you Convoy for Kids 2024. But before we get into the video, let's have a quick glimpse at the very first episode. Now I know he was learning back then, so it's not that great. But it's just a quick glimpse into it. I won't make you sit through the whole thing, guys. But let's get into it so we can get on to the new video. Alright, guys. Enjoy. Hello, oh, guys. Brad with the Average Aussie Trucker channel. Welcome to my channel. Very first episode. So excited to be here. Uh, we're here tonight at the Convoy for Kids 2023. Um, really excited because my truck just won second best Freightliner in show. Um, 29 Coronado. Nicknamed the General. Okay guys, that was the very first video. Uh, big special thanks to Rebel Lap Transport Team, Kathy, Shane, Matt and Haley. Really appreciate all your help and without you guys yesterday wouldn't have been possible. And the General and I will catch you next time. God, it's hard to watch that back. I cringe every time I do. But hey, you got to start somewhere. And that's where he chose to start. Like, you didn't come here to see old videos, did you? You come here to see the new stuff. So without further ado, let's get into the new video and let's check out Convoy for Kids 2024. <laughs> What's going on guys, it's Brad the Average Aussie Trucker back at it once more and today it has been a year since I started recording. How do I know that? Because we're at the Convoy for Kids again. So we're in the lineup at the moment for the, the Convoy as you can see and we're just waiting for the Convoy to start. Once we get going we'll throw the camera up, we'll get a video of the um, convoy and then I'll show you around the show once we get to the showgrounds. All right, let's have a fun day. Jesus Christ, do you get the feeling someone's having fun? Through, we're about to come across the Horton, uh, the Horton Bridge at the moment. We just got word 844 trucks have registered this year and uh, are in attendance. That's a lot of trucks. <laughs> Good seats. Alright guys, so we've made it to the showgrounds here and there is a lot of trucks. So we've got a lot of the pre that's our, our girl there, a lot of the pre-car trucks here. We've got a lot of side tippers, team logistics, a lot of team logistics. Whoa. 
heat guys. But yeah, we'll, we'll walk around and show you most of the trucks. I'll keep, keep the camera rolling as long as I can. And yeah, give you a look at the uh, 2024 lineup for the trucks. So we're just doing a bit of a walkthrough and I come across this gorgeous truck. A Ford LTL. <laughs> very, very nicely done. Nicely done indeed. Okay, so I just spoke to the driver and owner of this truck. Um, he's, it was a ground up restoration, took two and a half years and somewhere in the, in the vicinity of $300,000. Say what? So yes, it, um, he's only just had it on the road since March this year, but he said that there's not a nut and bolt that have not been touched on this truck and it shows. So he's got, uh, I think he said a 56 inch bunk and all the, um, you know, niceties and stuff inside. But yes, it shows it is a very nice truck indeed. Give you one last look at it. Here's one that I was hoping would be at the show, Corbett's new tow truck. This thing is a beast. It looks like it would go pretty hard too. And it's parked next to something like this. <laughs> Just come across this. Oh, mate's actually gone out. I don't know if he's done it, but he's painted his little duck on the front. That's pretty cool. So just doing the rounds, had a look inside. And I've come to the truck and life trailer. It's pretty cool, they got like a simulator in there, see if you can drive for the young ones. Yeah, I, I didn't pass. <laughs> Here's something that always gets me. I can't believe there is such a massive following for these RC trucks, but this is cool. Little Smokey and the Bandit. I think that's pretty cool. So I know for a fact that this is one of the, uh, one of my subscribers. Shout out to you, James. Alcoholic screen truck. Just walking around, I couldn't pass up the opportunity to throw this old girl on, but check this old one, bang her out. Very clean, very, very clean.
this one here, this apparently is the new Don Watson paint scheme. I actually quite like it. It's very simple, it's good. It's like not as involved as the other ones, but yeah, it's definitely good. But another company that I used to work for actually way, way, way back in the day, but it was actually, actually I think it was my first BAA ever drove. It was, yeah. So yeah, there you go. Wow, that seems like a long time ago now. This one here, this is uh, Aquaholic's new DAF. They use that for one of their um, float trucks. And I'm, I have it on good authority that it's the first twin steer semi DAF in Australia. But yeah, it's, it's different. <laughs> Something, something different, that's for sure. Unfortunately, in the time it took us to walk around and see all the trucks, most of the trucks have gone. <laughs> a lot of people didn't want to seem to uh, hang around today, but have a go at this thing. There's something to be said about those nine-nos. They are rather nice, but yeah, so, yeah, that was the trucks, so we'll go and check out the rest of it and um, give a bit of a gander of what they got to offer at the Convoy for Kids. Here we go. I just spotted it. This is for you, Brendan. Hopefully next year we can get our logo up there. where they roll a truck over that's pretty cool to watch unfortunately I missed it today but yeah as you can see they're just packing up but, yeah they roll that truck over I just show everyone how they do it but, yeah pretty cool little thing all right guys well we're back in the truck now we're gonna head home and call it a day um, I've got to get the passenger home so yeah, we're gonna cut it short, but it was an awesome day nonetheless. I'll try and find out the results of the show and I'll post them in the description. 
If you like the video guys, please hit the thumbs up button. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And just a quick shout out to Ken Blackwood and Brendan from M1 Truck Spotting. Thanks for coming up, it was great to meet you guys. As always guys, stay safe out there. We'll see you on the next one and hooray.